I mean, Senator, uh, last year over 85 uh, evangelical leaders came out uh, with a uh, support of a plan to address uh, global climate change yeah. and to be better stewards of our land. Do you agree with those leaders? And if so, what would you uh, do to uh, address global warming and climate change? Great question. Uh, and a big part of the answer lies here in Iowa uh, and in other Midwestern states. What we do, uh, the issue is CO2 loading in the atmosphere. Okay, I mean, that's, that's the issue that we're wrestling with, the CO2 loading in the atmosphere. The question comes down then is how do we get it out of the atmosphere? Or how do we reduce the gain of CO2 in the atmosphere without killing our economies? Or driving all those jobs overseas to China or India or Mexico, somebody that hasn't, doesn't agree to it. I believe free people properly motivated beat government bureaucracy and central planners any day and accomplish these things. That is to me a basic. Uh, I think we saw it in the formation of the Soviet Union. I thought we saw it here in farm policy in the U.S. My dad's a farmer, but he was told what to plant for years and years. And then we made freedom to farm. And you know what? He produced more out of that land than what the government got out of it. Uh, telling us what the how many acres of wheat, corn, and soybeans. So what I think we do is we put forward incentives in this society to help reduce that CO2 level uh, and or to, to reduce the growth in the CO2. I do not believe we should put hard caps on the top of this. I put forward tax credits uh, for people wanting to set aside carbon sinks. I think we ought to look at ways that we can incentivize agriculture to be able to be using it as a carbon and fixing more carbon in the soil. I think we ought to do more things like, uh, like this. A piece of carpet I got from the Iowa corn growers it's made out of starch instead of out of petroleum. So you do these things out of, out of corn and out of soybeans instead of out of non-renewable oil sources. And here, I want to really compliment Iowa on this. I was Ag Secretary of Kansas for six years. I've been following and working on ethanol and biodiesel a long time. Iowa and Iowa farmers got this vision of ethanol 30 years ago uh, and hung with it when everybody tried to talk them out of it and say this is a bad idea. And you guys hung in there with it. Now the world's building ethanol plants and biodiesel plants. You guys had to subsidize and get subsidized for a long time. God bless you for doing it. It's also a big piece of what we want CO2 because when you when you burn ethanol, you're also growing corn the next year that fixes carbon. So you create a carbon cycle instead of just an oil release. And also, I think too, you're going to need to look at nuclear energy coming back more. Some people don't like that answer, but you want your quickest, best, fastest way to reduce CO2 emissions. But one of the big answers in this is going to be nuclear power. Also, that I'd like to see if you do more conservation. Um, We've got a hybrid car, do 41, 42 miles to the gallon on it. Uh, I would know that it matters how you drive it. My 17 year old daughter does about 30 miles to the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir.